Hello, today I'm going to show you how to build your own simple hydroponic PVC system by revisiting a project I did a couple years ago. Welcome back to Fresh K Town. To get started, you will need some PVC pipes. Back then, I used ones with around 4 inch diameter, since I assumed tomatoes would prefer some extra space. You can adjust the pipe size depending on what you're growing though, and even for tomatoes, it is possible to use smaller ones. You'll also need a water drum to hold your nutrient solution, a drill with a hole saw attachment to create openings for the plants, and some hooks to attach the pipes to the wall. To mark where I would drill the holes, I left about 15 to 20 centimeters between each one to give the plants room to grow. In hindsight, that wasn't quite enough space, but mainly because I hardly ever cut them back. I would recommend to adjust the space based on your needs and don't be afraid to remove plants if the system gets overcrowded. Once marked, I drilled the holes and cleaned them up by removing any plastic burrs. Then I attached the pipes to the wall using the hooks and set up the water drum. After that, I connected everything and added an aquarium pump to circulate the nutrient solution into the top pipe. The system was simple, but effective. Now it was time to get the plants ready. I made sure to give them enough time to grow and let the roots get long enough to reach the flowing water before adding them to the system. For support, I placed them in net cups with clay pebbles. To help them get established, I started with a light nutrient mix. I also added an airstone to the water drum for aeration, but looking back, I'm not sure if the airstone was absolutely necessary, and if you're curious why, check out my video about aeration and hydroponics. Over the next weeks, the plants grew and eventually became uncontrollable. As mentioned, I didn't cut them back very often, so I had massive plants with a lot of vegetative growth, but sadly very little fruit. So here's my biggest takeaway from all that. Trim your plants regularly. Make sure to keep them in check to encourage more fruit production. Do better than I did, make sure to trim your plants. And that's it for today. I hope this helps you set up your own hydroponic system. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep on growing. Peace.